All right, Sal and Antonio, the grandsons of, of course, Mark and Barb McCuga, and I know uh, their uh, uncle, Dan, who is filming this video, very proud of them. The big banquet is coming up on Sunday night for their football team, and they've got a real treat coming up in the way of a highlight film that this great place that is Rhino Production put together that they're going to absolutely love and cherish for generations to come. You know, we started doing that decades ago, Mark and I, and we would spend a lot of late hours, especially in the evening when everybody went home, just working on this incredible thing that is that highlight reel, right, for different teams and obviously different seasons. And having a chance to see a little bit of the Rochester one today, uh, Scott Davini actually played some of it for me. It just makes me realize that we really were doing something great. And to all of these student athletes at Rochester, you're going to have a crown jewel, this highlight film that you'll be able to watch year after year. And when you gather for that 25th whole class reunion, you're going to have a chance to step back in time and remember another great season for Rochester and my dear friend Gene Matsuk. But I just want to talk a little about Rochester, if I can, for a moment. I lived there for a long time. A lot of my family uh, went there, meaning cousins and people of that nature. So I've always been a fan of Rochester High School for a number of reasons. And, you know, Sarge Alberts, my friend of you, was the uh, athletic director and basketball coach at one time for Center High School, now Central Valley. We used to talk about Rochester all the time. And, you know, Babe Pirelli, who graduated from there, went on to play for Paul Bear Bryant at Kentucky, was the backup to Joe Namath in Super Bowl III. He had a star-studded career at Rochester. You know, when Dan Matsuk finally got the head coaching job there, he was another great athlete at Rochester as well. They got a state title and actually won a Whipple for the first time since like 1920. So all of those great players who played there never had a chance to get a WPIL. And then Dan came in, they won state championships and obviously WPIL championships. And his wonderful brother Gene has done the exact same thing. So they are rich in tradition. But I think of some of the great players at Rochester, Paul Zarilla, uh, Thad Collins, obviously Tilt Willis, many of you may remember him. So great tradition, lots of memories, but what you young men are going to have a chance to see at this banquet and get an opportunity to link in and be able to watch this thing for the rest of your lives, it is truly a buried treasure that will continue to pay dividends moving forward. So congratulations on a great season. Proud of each and every one of you. And I know your grandfather and grandmother are proud of you, of Sal and Antonio, as is your Wonderful Uncle uh, Dan, and uh, just continue to do what you do and know that you had a chance uh, to uh, play for a great football coach in Gene Matsuk. we got a little bit more here tonight from Rhino Productions before we call it a night. But again, congratulations to the Rochester Rams on an incredible football season, and I know you're going to enjoy that highlight tape. Pretty special stuff. Good night, everybody.